everyone this question was asked in gate 2020 electronics and communication paper as question number 43 and it pertains to electromagnetic theory in this question we are given a uh, infinitesimally small uh, dipole in free space uh, here this dipole ideal this one is shown and uh, this is oriented along the z axis okay and uh, we are asked to find out that uh, what should be the height or the value of h from this infinite conducting uh, surface this is an infinite conducting surface here it has been marked as so and uh, what we are asked to find out the height to get a maximum of the uh, far field radiation pattern here the, mi the minimum value of h for which one of the maxima in the far field pattern occurs at theta is equal to 60 degrees so this is theta this is given to be 60 degrees and let's say there is some point here p uh, let me extrapolate this say this is some far field point p okay and this is our dipole right so we are asked to find out what will be the value minimum value of h so that we get a maxima at this point okay so uh, to get the complete understanding of the solution of this question you need to refer to the module 7 uniform linear array from the lecture series transmission lines and em waves by professor r k shivgaonkar okay and uh, moving on so the first thing which we need to keep in mind for solving this question is the first one is the the array factor array factor what is array factor af is equal to sin n psi by 2 upon sin psi by 2 okay and what is psi psi is nothing but alpha plus beta d cos theta alpha is the phase difference between the two array elements c what is the array so what is a array let's see this is one dipole okay this is one dipole here and uh, we were given a we will take up our own case what we are given in the question we have this uh, infinite conducting surface so this dipole will have an image of its own see it will radiate say at some point b the radiation goes as so okay this is the point p and also because of the reflective nature of this surface it will also reflect here okay so uh, we, because of the constraint of the space here the i am not able to draw it properly this at some far off point p these two radiation uh, Uh, radiation waves will come and meet and they will form a maxima so basically this dipole is radiating uh, in two ways it is uh, radiating two waves this one and this one so what this wave is basically representing we will assume that it has a uh, or we can uh, rather we can say that we can pictureize this dipole which is present at a height h from this surface is having an image at the same height h below this surface here we can assume that it is minus ideal 
okay and this is what is sending this radiation pattern so we have basically to pictureize this we have uh, re organized or we can say that we have kind of we are supporting our argument by uh, claiming that uh, this uh, dipole is having an image here so this is what we are uh, we are having as an array this is what we call as an array okay and uh, here the distance between two elements this is what we call as b this is what we are using in this equation and what is theta theta is with this axis what this radiation pattern is making the angle this angle theta this is the angle theta which we are using in this equation and uh, already explained alpha is the phase difference between the two dipoles uh, that is this and this so here in our case we can say that the phase difference is pi and uh, rest assured the other thing remaining is beta what is beta beta is the propagation constant propagation constant okay what is propagation constant it is 2 pi by lambda okay so this is what we have got psi is alpha plus beta d cos theta uh, we can also safely uh, assume alpha to be equal to 0 in our case uh, we'll see how we will proceed with the solution so as of now we need these two things to keep in mind the first one being the array factor and the another one being the psi okay what we are given we are given theta is equal to 60 degrees n is equal to 2 okay this is the number of elements in the array okay so in our case we are having two dipoles okay and uh, then we have d d is equal to 2h because we are calculating the distance between the two elements that is d and in our case it will be twice of h okay and uh, then we have the last thing to be beta is equal to 2 pi upon lambda okay now now we have to look at what our psi will be psi is equal to beta d cos theta okay and in our case uh, we have beta is equal to 2 pi upon lambda into d is 2h and cos theta is equal to cos 60 degree which is nothing but simplified we get 2 pi by lambda into this will be half and this becomes h so this is nothing but 2 pi h by lambda this is what psi is okay now another thing is the array factor what is the array factor in our case this array factor is what will maximize the radiation pattern at any point p so we need to maximize this array factor which is given as sine n psi by 2 upon sine psi by 2 so this is nothing but sine 2 into psi by 2 upon sine psi by 2 this we get as sine uh, psi is 2 pi h by lambda right so this is 2 pi h by lambda upon sine pi h by lambda right so this we will solve and we will get as 2 sine pi h by lambda into cos pi h by lambda we know that sine 2 theta sine 
टू थीटा इज इक्वल टू टू साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा ओके सो यूजिंग दिस वी विल कंक्लूड दिस एक्सप्रेशन टू बी दिस साइन फाइ एच बाय लैमडा एंड नाउ दिस कैंसल्स आउट एंड वी आर लेफ्ट विद टू कॉस फाइ बाय टू इज इंट इट सो दिस इज द एरे फैक्टर राइट and now normalizing the array factor as in we will only concentrate on this factor which can help us maximize the radiation pattern this we need to be maximum how will it be maximum psi that is a uh, sorry this cos pi h by lambda should be equal to 1 plus minus 1 and for cos to be equal to plus minus 1 it, uh, this theta cos theta is equal to plus minus 1 implies that theta is equal to n pi right so similarly pi h by lambda is equal to n pi and we want h to be minimum so naturally n is equal to 1 and this gives us that h is equal to lambda so this is the minimum value of h that can make the radiation pattern at any general point p to be maximum because of that dipole right option a is the correct option okay and to get the complete understanding for this solution refer to the module 7 uniform linear array from the lecture series transmission lines and em waves by professor rk shivgankar thank you